I'm Nikki Afu and I created Gold Coast Hypnobirth. I started working at Gold Coast Private as a registered midwife three years ago when we first opened and I am now a level two which is an assistant unit manager. So my role is to uh, care for women during labour and birth as well as postnatally. The benefits of hypnobirthing for women is really to create a positive birth experience no matter what their birth outcome is. We see women who you know are able to have their babies and feel so happy about their birth and feel so empowered and feel so strong and then we see the other side as well where birth partners you know, are able to look at their partners and just see how strong of a woman they are and what they've actually accomplished and how amazing as a couple that they are together because it can really bring couples closer, especially when the woman is leaning on that person for support and um, them also being able to give that because we teach birth partners how to support um, the women in labour. So I find women who seek out hypnobirthing for their antenatal education, um, these women know what they want. Um, they might even be second time parents who have had quite a traumatic birth. So they're looking for something that they can use during labour to have more of a positive birth outcome. Um, no matter where their birth takes them, that's the whole idea, just a positive birth. From the moment that I meet the women and their birth partners, um, that's either over the phone or we even can catch up for coffee if they're happy to. Then we do classes together as a group and support each other after the classes as well. So I am there by email um, to just help with any questions that might arise throughout their pregnancy or anything to do with the course. Uh, there's definitely a lot of support that um, we give them through the course as well, but me personally, I am definitely there for them. My name's Tina Fleming and I'm one of the co-founders and directors of Grace Private for Women, which is an all-female obstetrics, gynaecology and fertility practice here on the Gold Coast in Queensland. The most wonderful things about the place that we have created here for Grace is that we really have managed to cater for women of all ages with all concerns. So Grace is a really holistic environment where we provide fertility care, obstetric care, gynaecological care, but also all of the allied health professionals all in one site. So we really believe in this philosophy of bringing the care to the woman rather than the woman to the care. And I'm really proud of the space that we've created to be able to make that happen. For someone like Nikki, I see that her services are very much alongside what we do and alongside the antenatal classes as an adjuvant to try and involve the women more in their birth planning and birth cares. So Nikki, for example, would individualise her hypnobirthing based on what the particular parents' goals might be. So for some women, absolutely, that's going to be trying to minimise the analgesia, trying to maximise um, the likelihood of them achieving a vaginal birth without intervention. But for other people, that might mean overcoming their fears of coming to a hospital. It might mean overcoming the terror of their necessary planned caesarean section. So it's not strictly limited to just people who are wanting to avoid intervention, which I think is really a big selling point for what Nikki's um, involved in. Women that do the course just feel so empowered. They have so much knowledge. We give them lots of references to go read more and more. So it's opening up those doors for them. So they come into birth and they are so knowledgeable, so confident that no matter where their birth takes them, they know that they've made the decisions for their own birth, that none of that power has been taken away from them. That's a powerful thing for women. So I can see it definitely decreasing postnatal rates, um, not only for the women, but for um, men.
those nodal rates in men is huge now. So they're traumatized as well. So if that can decrease for them also, I would, you know, I can just see it being so beneficial for everyone. We have women that are pregnant for the first time who are seeking antenatal education to help with their birth to create a positive birth experience or they could be parents already who are looking to I guess change the part like the past experience that they've had before that might have been a bit negative and then change it to that change it to more of a positive birth experience. I'm Melissa Schulstead. I'm the director and founder of Hypnobirthing Australia and Hypnobobs. I actually am voice trained so I'm able to, and I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, so I was able to create these beautiful, calming meditation self-hypnosis tracks for pregnancy and birth and afterwards. But something that I really recognised in Nikki right from the start was that spark of she has the right motives, you know, she is, she's coming from a place of wanting to help. She's not doing this for fame or fortune or anything like that. She's doing it because she is passionate about providing positive childbirth education and empowering women and their partners so that they can have really positive and beautiful birth experiences. And I know that this comes from her heart. Having the best practitioners that we can access all within the one space, for me means that we can provide the highest quality of care for our patients. And people like Nikki, for example, you can see that what she can add to this service will only enhance what we have available within this space. And I find that really exciting because as the business grows, it really does increase its offerings. I have a large family. I actually am a mum of four. Um, my children, I uh, actually have three girls and one boy. So my daughter is 12, my son is 11, and I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old girl, like two girls. and. So we're a busy household. My husband is amazing and supports me in everything that I do. He's um, such a great guy and really um, such a great dad. I was 21 when I gave birth to my first daughter and I was so young and I didn't do any antenatal education and for me at the time that really worked because I didn't know what to expect. I wasn't in the best relationship at the time, so I took myself to the hospital for my induction. I remember walking in with my bag and um, telling the midwives, yeah, 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 my partner will come later when I really didn't think he was coming anyway, but I felt quite shameful. So I just kept on smiling and then I was induced with what we call Cervidil and it's a type of prostaglandin, it's just a hormone and they then took me to, it must have been like a postnatal ward and I stayed there all night but during that night I was contracting and I didn't know that I was in labour. Um, I remember asking the midwives for pain relief and they offered me, I think it was Panadol or something and I knew that that wasn't what I was looking for. So I just continued on having my surges overnight and then my waters broke in the morning and I buzzed the midwife and I said, I've just broken my waters. And by that time, I kind of struggled to walk from the postnatal ward to birth suite. I was having my surges up along the wall and I'd stop and breathe and then I'd walk a bit further and stop and breathe. And I remember getting to birth suite and they said that I was about nine centimetres. So I went and jumped in the shower. So overnight I was doing my own breathing and counting and breathing, trying to get through the night. And then at seven o'clock in the morning, I th must have been shift change. It tends to happen in the hospital, seven o'clock is shift change. And I had an amazing midwife and she, I don't know her name. <laughs> she was so amazing, strong. She was able to just be that person for me and 
I remember saying I don't want anyone else in the room so she really guarded that space for me and um, I remember having my baby and looking at this woman going oh, I was just in awe of her. She's exactly what I needed. She was strong. She told me what I needed to do. I remember saying, aren't we supposed to have a doctor here? And she said, no, we're doing this and you're going to push and you're going to have your baby. And so I just did exactly what she told me to do when I really honed in on her voice and when she told me to push and not push. And I just trusted her and she just had that quality where um, I felt like I could trust her and I'd probably known her for half an hour. Um, but she made me want to be like her and I want, and I just want um, to make a difference like she did to me. You can see that she emanates joy and light. And I think that her life experiences have really facilitated the midwife that she has become. For me, I love working alongside her because she is truly about empowering the woman. There are certainly people who come in with their own agenda as to what birth needs to look like. And I certainly believe, and I know Nikki supports this, that you can have a really positive birth even if it isn't what is textbook for other people's version of positive birth. I think that we've come almost to this point of having a battle of the mothers. It's just yet another parental battle where how you give birth is a way of being judged. And Nikki really understands that it's not that at all. Everybody has a different story and, and a different tale to navigate in their pregnancy, birthing and postpartum experience. I think Nikki really understands that it's not about what Nikki wants, but it is much more about how to make that person feel like they can live their tale themselves without being judged. My goal for Gold Coast Hypnobirth is to just change women's lives, even if it's just one at a time. I'm not here to, you know, um, create a huge business and that sort of thing. I just want to change women's lives and change birth partners' lives as well. Um, I just want women to go through labour and birth and just feel ecstatic at the end and just feel so positive no matter where their birth has taken them. I just really want to create that for women and their families and um, 